Ketones and aldehydes can both be reduced to form an alcohol. This is an example of a ketone. A ketone is a molecule that has a carbon oxygen double bond in between two carbon atoms. And this is an example of an aldehyde. It's very similar. An aldehyde has a carbon oxygen double bond as well, but on at least one side of the carbon oxygen double bond, there is a hydrogen instead of a carbon. We could have hydrogens on both sides as well. So both of these are being reduced. We know that they're being reduced because we're getting the addition of a hydrogen atom to the molecule. There are three different types or three different sets of reagents that we can use to perform this type of reduction. One is just the straightforward hydrogenation reaction that we learned when we were studying the reactions of alkenes and alkynes. Hydrogen gas in a metal catalyst like platinum, palladium, or nickel works the exact same way in terms of converting a carbon oxygen double bond into a carbon oxygen single bond by adding two hydrogen atoms to the molecule. Exactly the same as we would see for a carbon carbon double bond or a carbon carbon triple bond. Another option that we can use um, for, this, for this reduction reaction is a reagent called sodium borohydride, which is formula is NABH4, sodium borohydride. And sodium borohydride is dissolved in either water, usually water, or some sort of alcohol. I'm gonna abbreviate alcohol ROH. So that's just something like, maybe it's methanol CH3OH, maybe it's ethanol CH2 CH3OH, something along those lines. Another option, a third option, is a two-step process. This is a similar reagent um, to sodium borohydride, lithium aluminum hydride, L-I-A-L-H-4, as the step one, and then step two followed by water. Lithium aluminum hydride, a very common reagent, sometimes is just abbreviated L-A-H. Both sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride are examples of reagents that we call hydride reagents. So NABH4 as well as LAH are both what we call hydride reagents. Hydride is the name of the H minus ion. Hydride is H minus. And I'm gonna draw um, how we can use sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride to perform this type of reduction reaction. So I'm gonna draw a mechanism for that. And I'm just gonna use, for this example, I'm just gonna use a simple ketone that is provided in this example right here. But this, we would be drawing the exact same mechanism if we were using an aldehyde instead. So the NABH4 or the LAH, doesn't matter which one you're using, they're both hydride reagents, meaning that they are sources of H minus. And H minus is actually the reactive species in this particular reduction reaction. So for drawing the mechanism, instead of writing out NABH4 or writing out LIALH4, we're just gonna begin by writing the H minus ion because as I said, it is the thing that's actually doing the reaction. The H minus ion attacks the carbon of the carbon oxygen double bond and it causes that carbon oxygen double bond to open up. So when this happens, we end up with a negative charge on that oxygen atom because it's got an extra lone pair of electrons up on it. The electrons that came from the carbon oxygen double bond are now up here. And we have added that hydride ion now is a hydrogen atom on this molecule. And then, so that is our um, first step with the hydride agent. Now, if we're doing this reaction with sodium borohydride, we have some water or some alcohol present um, in the mixture. If we're doing this with LAH, we bring water in as a second step. Regardless, we have water or alcohol as the second step in this mechanism, and it is just being used to protonate the oxygen, the O minus. So this gives us ultimately the alcohol. Now, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to have this hydrogen drawn on there when we're drawing a line structure, but I'm just keeping it on there to show where that hydrogen, um, the hydride, uh, hydrogen ion, where it came from. 
If we were gonna be using alcohol here instead of water, you really wouldn't change anything at all. Um, so for example, if we were using methanol, the only thing that would be different is that this would be a CH3 out here instead of another hydrogen, or if this was an ethanol, this would be an ethyl group instead of another hydrogen. But other than that, the mechanism is the same. In addition, like I said, if we were doing this reaction with an aldehyde, the only thing that would be different is that we would have another hydrogen out here in the molecule. But again, the mechanism is exactly the same.